So hi, this is Rich, and uh, this is this is Bones. And Bones is 16 years old, and he's a captive bred iguana from Honduras. And he's um, he's about five feet long, a little more, with tail. And uh, he's a pretty good guy. And I think it was I think it was time f to do a video of old Bones. And if, as you can see. He's pretty tame, and he really likes to be pet, and um, he's quite a survivor. Uh, when he was uh, just a juvenile iguana uh, living in Victoria, B.C., uh, in a school classroom, uh, one of the uh, school aides came in and saw that uh, the iguana wasn't in very good shape. Um, he was actually flat as a pancake, and uh, sh the teacher didn't really know how to feed him, and this, I guess he was dropped off by one of the um, one of the parents and said, you know, how would you like to have a school pet kind of thing? And uh, they were feeding it iceberg lettuce and having it under just a regular light um, that didn't have any <clears throat> UVA or UVB properties. So um, he developed bone mineral disease and was basically flat as a pancake with very little bone. So the school uh, counselor, the school aide, actually took him to a vet and decided to take him home because he needed to be hand rehabbed. Um, literally, he couldn't uh, come up on his on his legs like he is now. <clears throat> and uh, nursed him back to health for about a year. And I heard about him through uh, a vet that um, was very interested in, in reptile care. And he knew I was. And the woman couldn't really take care of him anymore because she was in a condo. And uh, I met her and met met him, and immediately basically fell in love with this guy. And uh, he had still been rehabilit rehabilitating with the vitamins and the special diet and the hand holding and everything, um, to the point where he was almost full grown um, by that time. So he was about I'd say maybe three years old. So it's several years later now. And most iguanas live about 10 to 15 years, and he just reached his 16th year and going strong. And he's got um, this condominium. I don't know if you can kind of picture the dimensions, but he's got about six feet across and probably about five feet high. And then he's got another part that we punch through. And uh, if you can see this in the dark, uh, there's the dark. But he's got like this whole townhouse deal going on with his perch up top. You can see that. Sorry for the shakiness. And his climbing wall and everything like that. And he um he also I guess he's gonna eat now. We're gonna watch him eat. Here you go buddy. Oh I love kale. Oh I love kale. Oh yeah. Pretty tame. Even when he's feeding can still pet him and we close his eyes. You can probably even hand feed him, but really. Let's check it out. Nope, too big. So, that's Bones, and I'll be doing more videos if you're interested in seeing uh, more of him and learning more about him and about his surgery that he had when, uh, shortly after I got him because all those vitamins actually caused a precipitate to develop um, in his bladder to the point, I'll show you in the next video, he, uh, had a, he had a stone removed that would be equivalent to the size of a 40 pound gallstone in our bodies. Um, the thing is just enormous and I'll show you on the next video. And uh, he's got a big scar on his stomach where he was sliced open and I'll just explain uh, how the surgery <coughs> went, <coughs> went <coughs> excuse me, and uh, I think I'm choking on some kale. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and this is about a five minute video, and it's almost time for Mr. Bones' bed. Thanks everybody.